All right, guys, so here we have a monument to the uh, trovadores or folk singers of Puerto Rico or Musica Jibara here uh, close to the plaza of Bayamon. Here it is, the uh, Monumento a los Trovadores. So let me show you what this is all about. So, Musica Tipica, normally, well, in this case anyway, that this person has an accordion, this one has a guido, we have a male singer, female singer, a cuatro, which is uh, very common here in Puerto Rico. A cuatro instrument has 10 strings and a Spanish guitar or what some people call acoustic guitar. So yeah, this is very interesting. So this is only a block away from the main plaza. All right, now this is Barbosa Street. It has that old San Juan look to it and feel. And uh, yeah, this is my second time here today. But check out the architecture. All right, guys, I'm in uh, Jose Cerso Barbosa's house. This is the original home, and they preserved it as a museum, and it looks like what it did uh, many, many decades ago. All right, guys, this is uh, Calle, Calle Barbosa, and this is his house. This is where he used to live in. He was the uh, he was a doctor, a newspaper guy, and huh? he was also a politician. And this is the, uh, the street. And this is basically maybe two blocks behind the church downtown. Calle Barbosa, look it up. All right, guys, so we are at this cafe here. Uh, not far from Casa Barbosa and it is called Cafe 2150 and they have uh, pastries, great coffee and the torrefacción where they make the coffee and grind it is right over there. I'm going to show you that in a few minutes. Alright guys, so I believe this is where they grind the coffee. This is where they roast it and that's the station back there where they grind it. This is where they bag it and this is the machine that grinds it right there and you can see the bags over there, right there. Alright guys, I'm right behind the uh, Mercado, El Mercado de Bayamón, they sell fruits, vegetables and uh, it's in this area, I don't know the name of the street but if you see that building with that face, you're right by it. Eh, yo, yo espero ver muchas piñas en las marías esta vez y batatas, uh, ñame, 
Pero estos ñames son diferentes, no son de, no son de pavo. I just bought a whole bunch of pilones. Right there. All right, guys, so we stopped at this little cafe and I'm about to eat what they call a pastelillo uh, de pollo or uh, chicken, chicken pastelillo or empanadilla. Se puede decir empanadilla también? Okay, empanadilla and a little bit of water. I'm not going to drink any more coffee because I've drank like four cups of coffee already today. I'm still tired, but uh, I think water is good. So this is what it looks like when you break it open, this pastelillo or empanadilla. And mm, it's good. I like it. All right, guys. So now we're walking in El Canton Mall and Bayamón. Alright guys, so we are approaching El Taller del Cuatro Puerto Riqueño. There it is, right there on the left. Here it is. So I'm going to stop by and this is where they sell my father's music. Alright guys, so I just came out of the uh, El Taller del Cuatro Puerto Riqueño. They sell my father's music as well as many, many others. And they sell guitars, uh, cuatros, and a lot of other instruments. And I bought a book on how to learn how to play the cuatro. Uh, Método Fácil, the easy way. And that'll be me, because uh, even though I have a lot of family that are professional cuatro players and singers, and they play a bunch of other instruments, I have no such talent, so I need the easy book. And also, I brought a CD, Efrain Ramos. He's a friend of the family, and he lives in Las Marias. Uh, yeah, I, I could have bought this from him, but uh, they had it available here, and I want to play it on the way up to uh, Las Marias. So, yeah, uh, I look forward to this. And he's uh, this music is folk music, or musica jibara, or típica. And he's really good. He played, he was one of the uh, performers at the uh, 
La China, el Festival de la China Dulce en Las Marías a few months ago. So, yeah, Cantares de mi Tierra. Trullas Navideña. Should be a fun, uh, um, should be fun. But anyway, I'm on my way to Calle, uh, which is a town between us, Bayamón, which where I'm at now, Bayamón and Ponce. Because ultimately, I want to make it to Ponce uh, by 5 or 6 o'clock tonight. But I want to stop in Calle first, uh, take a look around, maybe record a little bit around the area. And maybe have lunch or dinner, who knows. It all depends what time I get there. So let's uh, uh, let's keep going. Oh, and by the way, uh, Sylvette had to go home. She was helping me do my Instagram stories and helping me record some of the uh, some of the vlogs. Uh, we spent a lot of the morning together and she showed me around uh, Bayamon, the downtown area. Uh, great person, so uh, hopefully you will see her again on this vlog. So yeah, yeah, we had uh, we had a we had a fun morning. I hope you like my brother's video. Don't forget to subscribe.